The Royal Gorge is busy with spring break visitors. It reopened after a fire that nearly destroyed every structure in the park. That fire broke out under the very same conditions we have right now. Mountain News and reporter Matt Kroeschel learned the park is still trying to rebuild. Windy, hot and dry, the same type of conditions they had four years ago when the Royal Gorge fire ignited. Here we are four years later and the rebuilding, well, a lot has been done. But anytime there's a disaster, you just get more community heart. An iconic Colorado landmark reborn. The wildfire took away so much, but the people here have given a lot back. The fire actually jumped the gorge in two locations. Amy Gillespie saw the charred remains of what was such a cherished place. We lost all but five structures. We lost 47 out of 52. Now the visitor center and several attractions are back open. Our guests get to see this beautiful visitor center and, and beautiful park. They don't get to see that behind the scenes part. When the fire hit this area, there was little they could do to stop the flames. That too has changed. It was a hopeless situation that day without any fire hydrants. All we had was one little pumper truck. Now we've actually um, retained 90,000 gallons of water that we treat and that we retain for the hydrants as well as another 40,000 gallons to run the sprinkler systems. Back open, bringing smiles and lots of selfies again. The park still has 42 structures to rebuild and while this process is slow, it is on track. Reporting from Fremont County, Matt Kroeschel, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.